Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, from the Ashes DLC. And we are currently uh, going out and getting supplies. We've managed to get some charcoal. We're at Ginger's friend's place. <laughs> If you remember correctly, we'd help them out because uh, Ginger had some people after him and we ended up uh, taking care of those people and Ginger ended up being okay. So he's uh, he, he's good. So they like us. <laughs> so anyways, we, uh, we've sourced charcoal and we've also gone through and figured out all of the other different, the, the best prices from for uh, grain and livestock. And so we're going to head over to, to Samopesh and... Sassau, I believe, for the livestock. It wasn't the cheapest at Sassau, but it was tasty, delicious meat. <laughs> so that, that is, or so the guy said. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm willing to to believe him. So if we take a look at the map, yeah, I know I don't have to switch out, but uh, I find that it, yes, I get the full screen map if I do. Uh, so we're gonna go to Samopesh, which is where are we right now? We're up in Ushits. We're gonna go to Samopesh first. And then we're going to go down to, to uh, Sassau. Now, uh, the reason why I didn't leave this area is because we are also trying to engage bandits. Actually, you know what? Let me just, let's get this going. Let's get this party started. Here we go. We're going to go to Samopesh. Carcass. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I need high level bandits or not high, well, high-ish level bandits and like not seven of them. A skirmish. Yes. Don't inter. Uh, oh yeah. Watch the battle. E. That's it, guys. Going to cry now. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. 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 So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let them sort their stuff out. Don't see Diri. <laughs> Don't get in my horse involved. Here, I'm going to back the horse away. Back up. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. What are you doing here? Out of life, are you? <laughs> are they after me now, or what's going on here? Okay, who is this? Hey, that's a Mercy. bandit. Mercy. I just watched you try and kill somebody. No, thank you, sir. Is this a... Who is this? Oh, that's a guard. Hi, guard. Don't shoot me, guard. Mercy <laughs> kill. Oh, no, 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 no. E. <laughs> he must have just died. Okay, he just died. All right, let's grab his stuff before the... the, the, the before the, <laughs> the law gets down here. We'll grab his this and... You know what? That and... Let's grab that, too. Uh, actually, let's go to all, and let's see. Yeah, I mean, we'll get some of this stuff. Uh, some of this is really heavy. We'll get the Marigold decoction. What else? Everything else is kind of cheap. Is there anything here that's interesting? No. No. All right. Uh, let's put away the sword before uh, the, the guard gets the wrong idea and thinks that we're a bandit. Did you see that my reputation went up? Ah, that's because the guard that was happy with my... Nope, we're not going to touch him. Nope, we're not going to... Oh, my goodness. The guards did not fare well. Hi. Good job, by the way. You're the lone survivor. <laughs> but I'm going to hit up these bandits and get their stuff. Oh, it says hold eat loot. Okay, I don't know why that one... Mm, mm. Silver ring, skull cap, hunter's gloves. Uh, the bow is hard to sell. Yeah, I don't think... You know what? We'll grab that and Groshen. And the rest of it, I think... Yeah, like this This Gambeson is quite heavy, right? Um, the deer hide is... Uh, well, we'll grab that. We can always dump some of this stuff if we have to. I'll grab that too, I guess. I mean, I really... And then you... Okay. All right. Are you still... Hold E loot. Okay, there's some... There's... That if I have to hold E, then when I, that's going to be stealing because I I found that holding E to to loot is usually when they uh, declare it stealing. So yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna move along. Besides, I don't think he's gonna have anything too interesting on him anyways. So let's just go. 
Do, 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 do. Maybe we'll get stopped by somebody else interesting. What I'm looking for is a skirmish between two high level bandits, like groups of high level ban bandits. That would be awesome. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it could. <laughs> We're going to go to Scallets. I keep being told that, oh, go to Scallets and, and uh, check out what's going on there. Uh, I plan on it. Uh, D is this way. Okay. Uh, that's the bailiff. Oh, is it? Yeah, Samopesh is where we want grain, right? Samopesh. Yes. Hi. God be with you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I would like to buy grain. I'd like to talk again about buying grain. Certainly. Have you changed your mind? And have you got a wagoner to haul it? Yes, and I've yes. I've arranged it with a merchant who does just this kind of work. I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Understood. Uh, agree. Uh, that's a reasonable price. We'll shake on it then. Yes, sh we shall. Hey, it didn't show me shaking. I mean, you know, his hand, not like me just going. <laughs> yeah, okay, That they, they can't all be gems, all right? What? You know what my old man is like? Nothing ever good enough for him. Always turning his nose up at everything I cook. You'd think he had blue blood. What is it this time? He bought me a hair and said, make something special with it. Ah, oh, picky is he? That's putting it Oh, yeah, we've, we've seen that one before. Yeah, the old, the old make something out of this hair dialogue. <laughs> um, you know what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to... Let's see if I can dump some of this stuff in my horse. Um, X, X, X. Yeah. Oh, and you. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And then uh, weapons. Did I grab any? Oh, I should have looked for weapons. I didn't. Oh, well. All right. Uh, yeah, my weight is quite high right now because... Oh, is there a place I can sell things here? I mean, there's the tavern. You know what? Let's go and see if the tavern is willing to buy anything from us. Uh, I'm, I am I. just want to clean them out of all their money for my uh, my marigold decoction. Hey, bud. Hey. <laughs> How much I'm money do you have? You should come to I, me. Well, I'm honored to be here. There we go. Uh, 272. Okay. You know, I mean, I could sell a few things to you. We can clean you out. Um, I have marigold decoction. It's nine. Um... Yeah, I mean, I could probably sell... Yeah, let's just do it. And, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do uh, add to basket, and we're going to add 30, which goes to 261, and then we're going to check the basket, and then we're going to haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so... Uh-huh. And he has... Okay, that's as much as he... Uh... Aye. Aye. That would do it. <laughs> Aye, that's all I have. <laughs> there we go. We got a bit more cash. It's not a huge amount, but it is something. <gasps> He's whistling. You know what we could also do is, how much does the... Uh, we're on good terms with the blacksmith here. Let's see if he's how much cash he has. And maybe we could sell some of that armor and stuff that we just... Uh, you know. Hey, bud. God be with you. Yes. he, he I, I solved the mystery of his murdered son, so he's very happy about it. Good luck, then. Um, he has 535. That's not bad, actually. Um, what I might actually get him to do first, though, is... Oh, does he have uh, an armor repair kit? You know, I'll grab one of those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Uh, yeah, that's just... Um, I'll pay full price for that. And then I'm going to get him to repair my armor. Goodbye. Uh, in fact, all of it. Yeah, we're going to get him to repair everything. It's only going to cost, well, let's see, if I select all, 90. But this time we're actually going to haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. And All right, sir. Let's see. All right, so. Oh, ho, ho. I told you he likes me. <laughs> We've we get along famously. Oh, oh, oh! I just gave him a bunch of my money, and so now what I can do is try to recoup some of that back. Uh, if I were to sell, um, not the Italian bassinet because that's actually my uh, full headgear when I want to get serious, but I think we should we should be able to sell him things like uh, this. Uh, oh, that. And the, those things, that, oh, both of them. 
Uh, and can we sell him gloves? Maybe? Let's try that. Let's see what we can sell. Uh, let's talk trade. See you later. And sell uh, armor. Yeah, all of it. Perfect. Now, we can repair things, but you'll end up spending about as much repairing stuff as you will in what you get back. Maybe, I, I don't know. It's pretty darn close. I don't bother. Uh, it really is not a big deal. So let's just do all of it. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to get good prices from him because uh, we are on good terms with him. Is there anything else I can sell to him? Oh, I can sell all kinds of stuff. Ooh. I'm keeping these for uh, recipes. If I remember correctly, there's a recipe that uses them. Um, we can sell... Oh, wow. Okay, let's start at the top. Let's go like uh, go by price. Nothing I'm wearing. Um, not the blacksmith's kit. We can smell... He'll buy a goblet. He'll buy savior schnapps. Yes. Yes. How about if we give him 10? Or sell 10. Okay, that's too much. All right. I think that's good then. We'll go into the basket and we'll just, uh, we'll back him off on some of those. What is it by a, he's giving me 43. So we're going to back him off by about six and then we'll haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. And do, 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 do. And there. Is this enough? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, and I'll be satisfied. Oh, he's me. Okay, no problem. Let's just do that. Hi, that would do it. <laughs> there we go. Now, how much money do we have? We're up at 8.6K, which I think is enough to get uh, to do the next phase of what we want to get done. Um, but let's just uh, let's just finish off our supply run, and then we'll go back to Privislavitz, see what we can do, and then head on out again. Um, Rooms for your house. Break the nose for your field. <laughs> He's selling brooms. All right, so we'll, we've dealt with that, and let's go to Sassau now. Uh, is that going to take us through that little hot zone? No. No, it isn't. Okay. There's a hot zone up there that's actually really uh, intriguing that I want to actually see if we can maybe um, uh, try going through a couple of times to see if we can trigger an event. Uh, I'll I'll show you eventually. Let me just get this business sorted out. Now, we're here in Sasau for the meat, which I believe... Yeah. Oh, I think my horse started to levitate there for a minute. You know, everybody wants me to get rid of pebbles, but how many people have levitating horses? I ask you this quite seriously. <laughs> look at look, look at pebbles. Look at the pebbles here. You just look mighty fine. Pebbles has been my little buddy and has been with me through thick and thin for ages. Right, Pebbles? Yeah. Um, okay, and I want to talk to the butcher. God's blessings. What can I do for you? Well, um, I would like to buy livestock. I'm here about the livestock for Privis Lavis. You've made your mind up then. Oh yeah, Good. you have the and finest who's meats. Take it there for you? I've got a merchant to take care of it. I do. Good. I'd be expecting him. So, here's my price. I know it's a bit on the dear side, but you'll get lean, lean tender, tender meat, for tender them, meat. See? fit for a bishop's table. Look at this sell the salesmanship of this man. I am I'm I'm That's sold. A good price. Sold. I'll buy it. <laughs> you can count on me. Okay. If you run into Jonah, give him my regards. That's right. I will. There's a Jonah apparently is a buddy Finger. of his. <laughs> He's a very nice man. He's great. All right. Um, livestock from Sasau. Okay, so uh, I believe... Oh, Beasts of Burden. Let's take a quick look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, so we finished off... Okay, a place to call home. So this is the, the, the overarching quest line for it, which is renew the church, ensure sufficient income. And this is like the end goals for the the uh, From the Ashes uh, DLC, the quest. Um, but I think we've just finished supplies. Is there no other? I guess what we'll do is we'll just head back into, uh, head back to Pribislavitz and go from there. Do, do, do. 
do, do. Oh, there's something going on right here. We'll have to check that out. I would like, yes, I would like to fast travel. What time is it? Oh, crap. This might turn into an evening thing, and I really don't like uh, trying to go do fights at night. Um, the darkness. It. The problem is that uh, you end up fighting with a torch in one hand, and oh, we're going to go through the, the hot zone. Oh, skirmish. Yes, don't interfere with it, but wa yeah, watch the battle. Let's just back up. What is going on here? Well, no. Oh, they are fighting. Okay, okay. This is what I wanted to... I was like, what? They, they, nobody was fighting, and I was like, what the heck's going on? We'll just let them... But they're not high level, which kind of sucks. Oh, wow. Do you hear that? <laughs> Come on, guys. What, who is this? Bandit. Oh. oh, okay. Actually, he looks like he's wearing good stuff. Oh, this might actually turn out to be a good thing. There's a bird over there, too. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling a little itchy. Come on, guys. Kill each other. Seriously. I wonder if it's bandit on bandit. These are all bandits. Okay. Hey guys. Ah, you stop right where oh, you are. Oh no! It, no! 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 Surrender! Is that you're the under arrest for breaking the law? Gee, I'm surrendering. I'm surrendering. Fucker! I'm surrendering. Save your whining. I've not done with you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Surrendering. Surrender, surrender, no, I surrender. <laughs> Come on then. Gone weak at the knees, have you? Uh yeah. No surrendering. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing hurting people like that? I didn't mean we won't to. Put up with violent brutes here. It was an accident. Is that clear? Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. All right, all right, all right. I'll pay. Damn it. Here's your coin, then. You purged yourself before the law. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. You can be <laughs> sure of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, there you go. I, I assume that they were bandits, but I should have known better because of the uh, outfit that they were wearing. Like these guys are wearing like uh, they're the what you call it, but I think what we'll do is we're just uh, yeah I'm just gonna we're just gonna loot we're gonna take their stuff right it's it, it's it's all fine don't worry about it guy nothing's happening over here it's What's all that? good uh hey. are they mad at me hey who's there. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> it's a, it's What's very going awkward. On there? It, nothing's going on over here, I promise. What's that? <laughs> I hope I'll get my money back. This is actually not too bad. There we go. Uh, Mary Gold. What else we got? A shield. A lot of this stuff I don't think I want to bother with. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else that's over here that's kind of interesting? Um, okay. Oh, what the hell? We'll grab that too, and that. What well, I, you know what? Let's just do it. And then you, uh, the piercing arrow, sure. Okay. And then I'm gonna dump stuff back in my horse. Uh, armor. There we go. Uh, boom, boom, boom. There's only so much I'm gonna be able to put on the horse though, because every. I know, I know. I'm. Look, I understand that he's not perfect. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> my horse is not perfect, but my horse is wonderful to me. I'm happy with my horse. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Is there any other weapons over here? How about over here? We can bring out a, a torch. See, look, then you'll... I'm not, like... Look, I'm not skulking. No skulking over here. Okay. I think they killed somebody over here. Um, okay. And... There we go. And Groshen. Uh... That's probably fine. And then over here. 
Oh, he's got like lamellar armor. Oh, oh, it's a cumin. Leather gloves, padded chances, sure. Um, I'm, I am going to have to start worrying about weight. Okay, at some point. Uh, that's probably fine. Oh, I'm going to take his bandage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, what do we got? Another cumin? Okay. Um, yeah, you, 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 and... Oh, what the hell are you? Okay, let's see what I can dump into my uh, horse. There we go. Um, oh, I'm going to hit a limit soon. Oh, this is actually... Oh, I'm, I'm, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing absolutely fine here. Perfect. No weapons around here, eh? Oh, there is. There's a, uh, there's like a, a warhammer. I'll grab that. And how about you? Do you have a weapon? All right. So, uh, yes, we, we, I did almost screw this. Oh, a spear? Oh, no, no, no. That's not, I can't, that's a... That's one of the guard spears. I, uh, that would be a, uh, that would be stealing, and I, I'm or I already feel bad. Oh, there's another freaking guard over or a uh, bandit. Oh, and he's got nice stuff. Okay, look at this Milanese cuirass. This some of this might be better than what I've got right now. I might actually have to check it out. Uh, let's grab that, 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 and boar's hide. Sure, Groshen, uh, the armorer's kit, and a bandage. Okay. All right. Uh, how much more can we jam into the horse? And s yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you, you, you. Can't carry any more. All right. Well, hmm. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go to the cheapest stuff. Now, these are cheap because they're war horse stuff. They're actually really good, but it, it they're just, they're low price. So it, I don't know. It's I guess so you're not really encouraged to sell them. But these two items are fairly heavy. I, I just sorted on price and then I just went and I can just uh I can essentially drop them the heavy quartered gambeson. It's only worth 105. And the padded chosses, uh they're only worth 114. And then what else we got here? Uh, not you, none of the stuff that's worth two hundred. Okay. And then uh weapons. Uh price okay how much is the this is not worth much at all yeah we're gonna dump that so uh drop and the burger sword is actually worth 200 so we're gonna keep that okay and then the last thing we can do is maybe find something light that we can stick to the send to the horse like if we move uh a torch to the horse that will drop my weight down and the horse can accept it and we're in good shape. So here's what we're going to do. Change of plans. We are no longer able to carry anything more. And yes, I am fully aware of the fact that... Um, <laughs> I'm fully aware of the fact that if I had a better horse, I can carry more. I know. I know. We are going to go to Rate so that we can sell a bunch of stuff. Because right now I am full of loot. And we're not stopping for anything. Because uh, this is actually really, really good. Like what I have on me right now, and I do not want to lose it. In fact, what I should have done is I should have, um, I should have taken a like a save the game, <laughs> taken the save your snaps. No, nope, <laughs> nope, not risking it. I'm a, on a mission. <laughs> Besides that, those ambushes and stuff, they're usually like low level bandits through there. The one we just hit up where there was like the skirmish. Apparently that's like, they're usually pretty good, pretty good bandits in there. Okay. Now, before we go in, first of all, do I have my torch out? Hang on. Loading. 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 Come on, game. Oh, man. Uh, do I have anything in my inventory that is stolen? Before I go walking into... Okay, we're in good shape. Oh, what is my Groshen at, right? 8.5, okay. Hey, how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just going to go and have a, uh, a nap in my uh, little quarters down here. Do, 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 do. All right.
right. Close the door. Okay. Uh, actually, watch this. You want to see something funny? I'm in my room, okay? Nope, not that. That's not what I wanted to do. Put the torch away. Is it not going to work? All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> Sometimes if, if they're just walking by outside, they'll come over and harass me because I don't have my torch out while I'm standing here. I was standing next to the bed. So I was like, or I was actually here and I was sorting through, like thinking about inventory and stuff like that. Yeah, and they gave me a hard time. It was absolutely hilarious. All right, we're going to sleep and save. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to reproduce that. Now, 100 energy at 9 a.m., perfect. And hopefully the the money that I left behind in Privoslavets over the last few days is covering expenses because every day um, there is, like, I think there's expenses every day. So I'm a little concerned about that, but uh, we'll deal with it if we have to. It's fine. I don't think we're going to run into too many troubles, though. All right. Now, first of all, um, I want to max out my stuff. So what I'm going to do is... Here, actually... I'm going to do it slightly differently. Let's let's just go up there. Hey, hi. It's Radzik. Do, 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 do. We're going to go first to the armor guy. Yeah. All right. Don't try not to run people over in the way. All right. This is the armor guy right here. He's my armor guy. Vegetables. <laughs> Fresh vegetables. Look. Is he a open? There he is. Hey, hey, how you doing? All right, so here's what we're going to do. He he has, I don't know how much he has on me, but I'm going to go to my sidekick, and uh, I'm going to pull all of the armor except for the Italian bassinet and the brown hood and the quiet. This this stuff here, except for this, from this these things, that's what I always have on the horse. And you can tell because it's the high, the, the full health stuff. And then from here, the silver ring down, I'm just going to move it into my inventory. I think that's good. All the armor that I want to sell. And do I have, oh, no, do I have any repair things in here? Um, no. All right, and then what we do is we go into here and we go to the small armorer's kit and we repair what we can. Uh, we can't repair everything. The tailor's kit and repair what we can. The blacksmith's kit, repair what we can. And hello. God's blessings. <laughs> what can I do for you? That's cheap. You could, that repair is really super cheap. Uh, let's trade. Goodbye. How much do you have? 8K. See, this is this is good. This is excellent. Um, and then I want to sort, not that, by what I'm... Oh, no, no, no. Sell, 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 sell. And I want to sort by what I'm not equipped. Okay, so this stuff. And anything that's low quality is not stuff I want. <clears throat> Except, I'm going to keep an eye out for things that I think might be valuable to me. Um... Like this chainmail, for example, I don't think so because it's only worth 48. And the stuff that I'm wearing is, let me take a look. Uh, it's this uh, long noble hauberk, which is worth 300, right? But I am wearing the uh, this dyed Milanese brigandine, brigandine, right? And I think I had something in here that was like really good. Uh, where is it? M uh, this one right here. And also the Milanese cuirass. Oh, it's not as good as what I'm wearing. Noble's composite chasses. Not as good as what I'm still not as good at. But it looks, look, they look really snazzy, though. Uh, Nuremberg plate pauldrons. Oh. Old plate. You know what? Let's just keep going. Hang on a sec. Let's just sell stuff. Uh, you, yes, 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 yes. Dark plate armor jacket. Nice. Uh, yep. Decorated Bavarian Hauberk. Ooh. 
You know what? I'm going to hang on to that for a minute. I already have a set of Lamellar armor back at the, my uh, chest. Uh, both pairs, please. I'm going to sell. And then the heavy quartered Gambeson. Yeah, it, look, it, it does. It's it's all around worse in, in a lot of different ways. Okay. Uh, gloves. Uh, Italian bassinet. I think I've sold one of those before. Kuttenberg split Gambeson. No, I'm going to sell that, sell that. Yeah, get rid of that, that, that. And these. Uh, mail collar. Yeah. Ah, Milanese, uh, Milanese Brigandine. I think it's the same as what I'm wearing, but I'm just going to hang on to that. Milanese, uh, Mel Milanese Cuirass. I'm going to sell one of them. And the Gauntlets. I'm going to keep the Gauntlets for now. And... Yeah, let's just hang on to some of this stuff for a minute. I think... Yeah, this stuff I'm going to get rid of. Nuremberg Plate Pauldrons. How much are mine? Saxon plate pauldrons. Yeah, I think my stuff's just generally better. All right, let's get rid of... Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of you. You, I can get this stuff again sometime. Uh, that, let's get rid of that. That, that, that. How we're up at 4K? Okay. And... That one there and the silver ring. We're at 4.8k. Milani yeah, you know what? Let's just dump it. Yep, let's just dump everything. All of it. Everything. Every it's like a it's a fire sale. Uh check the basket and haggle. Let's talk about the price. Well, now you can try it. Normally I don't Okay, you may have noticed I usually don't go through all this commerce stuff on camera. I do it off camera. But in this particular case, we're doing the From the Ashes thing, and it's important. Um, I'm trying to show you how I'm the steps I'm taking to be able to make as much money as I can um, and l what logic I use. Okay, first of all, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so. I could have probably done more. Damn it. Oh, well. Now, how much money does he have left? God be with you. Uh, 1.8K. Oh. Okay. And I think we've sold everything we can, right? Now, do I have anything else on the horse? Um, no, not for him. Okay. Now, what I can do is... Okay, we go to the horse, we go to the weapons, we pull you and you and you into the inventory. All right, and then repair. Okay. And boop, boop, boop. There we go. That's it. Sharpen, sharpen. Oop, oh, oh, no, no, smoky, smoky. That's bad. Sharp, sharp. Yes, there we go. Oh, yeah. I know. I agree, Mutt. This thing is going to... You're going to be able to shave with this thing. Look at it. Okay. And try again. Where are we at? It's at 100. Burger sword. This is... Uh, the idea is that... One, two, three. I push... What I do is go... I go... Mutt. Bro. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> slicey, slicey. <laughs> Mutt, seriously, this is not safe. He's like, okay, I'll back off a little bit. Maybe not. Hor, hor, hor. <laughs> You're a card, Mutt. You're <laughs> you know what? Fine. I usually go th uh, three pressure and then at an angle and then do, 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 do. And then it, it flips around all over the... Oh, my God, Mutt. Seriously. Buddy. Pal. I. He does this all the time, by the way. <laughs> He's like... He always gets in my... He always likes to, like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, but seriously, man. <laughs> that probably isn't complete, but we'll take a look. Now, the problem I'm going to run into is half the time when I go E, it hits Mutt instead of him. Hey, that actually worked. All right. <laughs> Mutt. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know Mutt. <laughs> it's like when you have a dog or a cat and you're sitting on the couch 
And they're like, we, I, I want to sit on the couch with you. And they sit on top of you. <laughs> and you're like, no, you're a big giant dog. But it's like if, if they're big dogs, then they, it's always kind of amusing. All right, buddy, pal, buddy. There we go. All right. Uh, that one is fine. And then this one here. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, no, no smoky smoky. Look at that. It's got a cross in it. Huh, interesting. It's a nice looking axe, actually. Look at that. It's got like metal. Come on. There we go. No, no, no. Okay. I think that's good enough, even if it's not done. How much are you worth now? Weapons. That heavy battle axe is worth 685, the axe is 530, and the burger sword 315, the warhammer, which uh, I can't actually re Can I repair that? I do have a blacksmith's kit. All right. I was able to, was I able to actually repair that? Weapons. Not the warhammer. I've never had good luck repairing warhammers. I don't really know why. I can't, you know. And the heavy shield either. It's but it's like beyond repair. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and talk to the swordsmith. He doesn't have as much money as the armor smith guy, but he's pleasant. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. See, what a nice guy. He's always like this. Two hundred and twenty. This is my this is my problem every time I come to this guy. All right. Um, how about we get you to. Uh, Oh man, I can't even sell. We could sell the uh, the heavy. Ba no, you know what? Let's sell the axe to him, and uh, and then we'll haggle. Haggle him. Up Let's have to a word about the price. Hmm. All right. So <laughs> now he gets a bit down. That's what not. That's, to that's too much. I mean, he's going to back. I'd up. almost shake. Yeah, down. yeah. He needs a almost. Yeah, yeah, not quite. And then we go. Bunk bunk. There we go. Hi. For that amount, I can be persuaded. There we go. And then... God bless you. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll hang on to these weapons, and then I'll sell them at another time when I can actually get somebody that's going to buy stuff. But sometimes, uh, Conrad here... God save. He might what actually have some you? cash. He sometimes has more Good. cash than I think... Yeah, he's got 20.9. No, Conrad, you're poor. <laughs> well, okay, he momentarily, he's cash poor at the moment. He's got some uh, cash issues. And the last thing we can do is we can come over here and see our alchemy buddy. And as I say, this is all part of just trying to get the finances together How's for Uh It's going well, actually. Can we trade? He's got 250. Oh my god, okay. Well... I mean, I could sell you a few things. I've got a whole bunch of marigold decoction. Ten. See, he, he has uh, good prices for stuff. So I can sell him, I don't know, 20 of them. And I have 21. Maybe I'll sell him uh, 15. Uh, 15. And then uh, let's have it. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. <laughs> you sound dubious, my friend. What about this? Oh, I don't think we're he... getting there. Just drop oh, the price a bit okay. more. Okay. <laughs> All right, there. All right, so excellent. All right, I think this is it. So uh, let's take a look at what we've got. We now have fifteen thousand Groshen, so we should be able to do something with that. Let's uh, head to Pripislavets and uh, and take care of some business. Oh, there's like. An activity giver. You know what? We have important activity issues going on up at Pribislavets. So we're going to head out there now. What time is it? 10 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, we should be able to make it there without any issues. Do, 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 do. And uh, I'm not going to stop, by the way, because, uh, well, maybe I should. It depends on what it is. I'm going to evaluate each scenario indiv individually. Uh, if it's a skirmish, I'm definitely interested in at least uh, stopping because then I can... Well, maybe I could antagonize some more guards and have to pay another fine. But we're not... We're not. You know what? We're not bringing that up, all right? Seriously. Okay. Maybe through here? Nothing? 
Nothing? Okay. Oh! A pilgrim? Uh, he, he, was he doesn't look dangerous, but God knows what he's after. Sure. Is that the pilgrim there? <laughs> it's a beggar. Help me, somebody. Okay. Pebbles, can you go over here? You be over here. Does this look like a trap? Okay. Hi. What happened to you? Sir, if you only knew. He told me he'd marry me, even though his mother forbade it. And then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts in the woods. I oh. hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. Wouldn't you have a morsel of food for me, sir? I haven't eaten for three days. Everything I find, I give to the little ones. Um, I think I have some dried food? meat. Food? Let me see. I have some dried meat. You know what? That's good protein. Uh, we've got poison too, but I'm not going to do that. That would be bad, right? <laughs> I'll give her uh, 10 uh, dried meat. There we go. What about this? Thank you, sir. Thank you a hundredfold. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I feel for her. She's just trying to do what's good for her family. All right, now let's take a look and see if we can get to. But I that doesn't mean I'm not nervous about about uh, being tricked again because there was that one that I stopped for and it was a trap. <laughs> pilgrim. No, we've already talked to the pilgrim. All right, in through here, it can get a bit dicey. It oh. Nothing? Seriously? Okay. We're here! Hello, village! Did you miss me? Oh, wait a minute. I think that's where the uh, activity is. There's nobody here. Judge. What? What's the matter here? This bitch here. Tried to kill me. Have her clapped in the stocks where she what? belongs. That's not true, Master Bailiff, sir. He got drunk, like he always does, and ate who knows what kind of slop somewhere. You know very well what it was what poisoned me. You're trying to get rid of me and don't think I don't know it. Enough. One at a time. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me what happened. What makes you think she tried to poison you? She hates me. She wants to put me in the ground and then take the farm. I, I can I, see it in her eyes. Oh, come She's on. That sounds like paranoia. for the day I'm dead. But she'll never see it because I'll throw her out on her ear. Oh, my goodness. Throw me out from my own home? You useless, ale-swilling pig. Have you forgotten who got you a roof over your head? Just look at her, sir. You can see for yourself what a harpy she is. I came home uh, after one or two ales at the tavern. Oh, ate really? Ate my supper, what was left on the table for me, and went to bed. And in the morning, I woke up with my guts in agony. My head was on fire. I thought my last hour had come. If it wasn't for the old herb woman, she'd already have me in the ground. Have you forgotten the part about <laughs> battering me and throwing up in the doorway? Oh, no. Shut your mouth, you whore. Oh, good grief. Oh, come on. Quiet. Good wife. Tell me your side of the story. Sir, that beast is good for nothing but drinking away my dowry with his cronies. If he puts his hand to a flail at all, it's only to beat me with it. We were thrown out of the farm near Ledechko that I got as a dowry. Why? Because this fool let it go to ruin and got us into debt too. Oh. They threw us out because you wouldn't back me up to the bailiff. Why were you because in front of the bailiff in the first place? I could hold my head up if I lied to cover your useless ass. That's got nothing to do with you poisoning me. He boozes from morning till night and beats me. Says I don't take good enough care of him. And all he does is sit on his ass expecting me to run around cooking and cleaning for him. And now he wants to drive me out of the village saying I tried to kill him. What would I do then? 
Uh, tell me about the poisoning. Tell me about how you were poisoned, as you claim. I came home, and there was a bowl of cabbage soup and a pitcher of wine on the table. Okay. So I had it and went to bed. I woke up in the early hours and had to run to the outhouse, spewing from both ends I was. I was burning up so much you could light a torch off me. And this witch here laughing up her sleeve. She wouldn't even call the herb woman for me. If I had to call the herb woman every time you get boozed up, she might as well move in with us. When I was writhing in agony on the ground, I heard her say clear as day, Ha! You got what was coming to you. Is that true? No, he's lying. Oh, OK. What do you think happened, good wife? Yeah. Nothing what hasn't been a hundred times before. He was crooked as a bishop again, and I could already hear him in the courtyard, retching and spewing. I had his supper waiting on the table, because otherwise there'd be hell to pay. Only there's no pleasing the pig. Where's the meat? And what have you? <laughs> Where's and the when meat? when I told him God's honest truth, that there's no meat, because he drank all our money away, he laid into me like a madman. One slap was all you got. What was uh, less than you deserved for your evil tongue? Right. I ran off and hid in the barn till he'd calmed down. When I could hear him snoring like a pig, I came inside again. After a while, he started throwing up and he was spewing till dawn. Who knows what he ate when he was boozed up? Or it was the booze itself done it. And what about the herb woman? I went for her in the end. Three groschen I had to give her for some wormwood potion. I could have done that myself for nothing. And then he claimed I poisoned him. Um, I wonder if the herb woman's just not good. Okay, I've heard enough, by the oh, way. I've heard enough. Um. You, yeah. farmer, won't touch another drop of booze, or I'll leave you in the stocks to dry out. And if you raise your hand to your wife again, I'll take a bludgeon to you. But a drink or two? No. No buts. There'll be no half measures with you. That's right. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Thank you a thousandfold. You're a wise and just man. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I I I was I was kind of like, okay, first of all, he's obviously he's got a drinking problem, right? Like there's nothing wrong with a few drinks here and there. He's nothing nothing no, it's all good. I'm not a Puritan. But uh yeah, that he sounds yeah. like he he's to excess. And the other thing is, as soon as he said, Oh yeah. well yeah, I hit her, but I really did yeah, she deserved it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> That's not me. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah, he was a brute, so I'm not interested in that. No. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Um, 3.7K. So we're not doing too bad for Groshen. Uh What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to dump in... Uh, don't you hey me. I'm supposed to be dumping money in here. I'm going to dump in most of my money. There we go. I'll keep... What is going on here? Okay. Uh, 17k Groshen is what we have to play with. So, oh, hey. How you doing, Marius? Let's take a look at the book. Um, let's see. So, currently we are losing 460 Groshen a day. And that's because we don't have enough actual businesses running in, in this place, but we have a lot of expenses. So, now what I need to do is start building some of the more the infrastructure. And I think, first of all, the Rat House doesn't bring any cash in, at, even at the best of times. So, we can delay that. Uh, the Rat House Extended is, again, that's the same thing. We can't touch the church yet. It's way out of our league. Uh, we need to get some income in. And the church will come later once we start getting a bit of money going. So we could do a forge, and its income is 500 A bakery is 250 The butcher is 290 Now, these numbers, by the way, vary depending on uh, whether you add a smokehouse, in the case of the butcher, or a drying shed and honey cakes as far as the bakery. And if you take a look, so that's, what that what is that, 165? So plus 250, that's, uh, what, three 415? So 415 from a fully outfitted bakery, right? With honey cakes, so I, that means we need to get beehives, I think, because it's honey. 
and I saw there were beehives that you could get. Um, and it says... It doesn't say. Okay, never mind. Uh, but anyways, uh, and then the butcher is 390 maximum. So I think the uh, bakery is a better income. Uh, so we might just go with the bakery. Uh, the stables, it's, it doesn't bring in enough. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to hold off on the stables. Same with the guardhouse, it doesn't bring in enough. The trader we've already built. And the tavern. The tavern... Get a load of this. The tavern costs 8000 which I think we have enough for. Plus, a brewery gives you 300 Dice games gives you 200 Meat banquet, 70 Excellent cakes, 50 Mead, 100 And thirsty soldiers, 150 Now, obviously, the, the thirsty soldiers would only be if you built the guardhouse. Because otherwise, you wouldn't have thirsty soldiers. Right? But the brewery, which would do the, is 300, costs 2,000. And the dice games, which costs 1,000, gives you 200. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 1,000 Groschen every cycle. So I'm thinking that, that, like, if we do this right. So I'm thinking we're doing the, we're going to do the tavern. So let's build the tavern. I've decided what to build. That's my logic and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this quite a bit, by the way. I reviewed that the footage. shouldn't take too long. Oh, I don't think so either. Come along with me and okay. we'll take a look at the site. Oh, that sounds like a great plan, Mar Marius. Whoever did the voice acting for this guy, by the way, is uh, pretty good. <laughs> He's quite amusing. That shouldn't be too much. <laughs> Come along with me. <laughs> now, I think that's the tavern there, if I remember from his little tour. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Yeah, the tour was, like, way at the beginning. Yeah. Hey, bro. We're going to build here? Yes. 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 Shall we get started? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Oh, mm. you feel free. <laughs> I, I, All good. You don't trust me. We can All start right. construction. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at this! It's a tavern! Oh, what an operation. Look at those happy people. I also wanted to get a tavern because if you want to make people happy, you put in a tavern. And that'll... One of the things I, I'm being measured at is basically the happiness of my people. And a good tavern, I think, is, is uh, important for that. So. Wait till I tell you what happened oh. to me. There was I, going along the road, minding my own business, when all of a sudden I see this purse right there on the ground. Oh. No. No. Was there much in it? Half a dozen groschen and change. My Christ, that was worth bending down for. I eh? think we've heard this before. Indeed. I couldn't believe it. But before I picked it up, I reckoned someone must be playing a trick on me, and they were hiding in the bushes just to have a laugh. But not a soul anywhere. That's a piece of good fortune, then. We ought to celebrate. I agree. By all means. The best of it is, that pair of idiots, Prokop and Andra, were walking right ahead of me, and they never even noticed the purse. And it was lying right there. Okay, the so, middle. sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've heard that before. That was in the um, guardhouse in uh, Ratai. Okay, so we have the innkeeper. Now, I'm do curious. Do I? Can I buy a room here? No, I can't. Good luck then. But I can sell, and you have 150. Uh, you know what? Let's sell you some Savior Schnapps. 30 each. My reputation is quite low. You'd think it would be very high. I just built this place. <laughs> this is my own place. Seriously. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, so at 30, we have. Let's sell four. And that'll take us there, and then we can haggle. And I'd like to discuss the price. We're just going to extract money out of our own business. That's what we're doing. All right, so. Let's see. All right, so. <laughs> We've left them with 20 Groschen. Good luck. Ah! What's in here? Nothing. Oh. Oh. No, Rob. It's my business. I guess I'm not really. I mean, I paid for it, but it's not mine. So we could sit here. This is, uh, look at this. <clears throat> Attend me. 
This is your bailiff speaking. I would like some of your finest drinks. Although I think um, they don't have a... Oh, am I hungry? Wait a minute. What's my situation with food? 50? Oh, I am actually hungry. I better go find a random pot to eat out of. All right, so this is pretty cool. Oh, and is that the alehouse maid? She reminds me of the of the maid in um in Ujits. Oh. I wonder if she remembers me. Hello. Is it her? Let me see. I got it. I I here. Uh, okay. God be with you. No, Do you need it's anything? not her. It's not her. Uh no. Take care. All right. Now that's more. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but that's okay. All right. Well, I think I'm relegated to sleeping up at the... Uh, oh, I think I have to have my uh, torch out, even though I'm the bailiff. Um, yeah. I still have to follow the rule. You know what? It would be awful hip hypocritical of me if I didn't follow my own rules, right? I set the rules here. I should... Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's over here, I think. Hopefully nobody poisoned it. Uh, eat from the pot. Okay, now, where does everybody sleep? All right, so he sleeps there. I assume this is my bed right here, right? Uh, so how about, um, let's put the torch away and sleep and save. Now, what is the comfort level of this? Uh, 30%. <laughs> it could be better. <laughs> uh, energy, oh, okay. Interesting. My nourishment isn't changing. Does that, does that make sense? Shouldn't it be going down? Hmm. There we go. All right, let's check out the situation with our... Ugh. What? <laughs> Are we hot bunking? Is that how we're doing this? All right, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got 9.7k Groshen left. And maybe what we could do is we could boost the... Uh, income of the tavern. By the way, I know we, I can take a look at the uh, other bit thing, but the um, the the balance sheet. But I want to just let's get this done first. So essentially, what we need to do: improvement one is holding down E. Improvement two, two is holding down F. Uh, the brewery gives us three hundred. Marius, there's work to be done. Marius! <laughs> You've decided? Yes, I have. Let's get building. Oh, yeah. Did you see the eagerness in him? Let's get building. <laughs> yes, Marius. Let's build. <laughs> do, 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 do. Any other judgments? That's cool that there's like, that's like where the judgments happen. That little stage down there. That's really neat. I'm really enjoying that. That, uh, that, I thought that was funny. We're going to build here? Yes. 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 Shall we get started? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. <laughs> There's a lot of I'll yeses. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All good. We can start construction. Uh, aren't we building dice or something? Seriously? <laughs> what is it? You put down a board and... <laughs> is it... Or did I do the brewery? I think I did the brewery, didn't I? Yeah, I like the brewery. Okay, it is the brewery. Excellent. Look at those this happy, drunk people. Brewery, you've built yourself a brewery. From now on, the innkeeper will be able to brew local beer. Every time a new batch is brewed, you can pick it up from uh, pick it up from the vat on top of the kiln at the brewery. Drink responsibly. <gasps> Pripislavitz boar. Oh, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Is it over here? Oh, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Look at all these happy people coming in. Okay, let's go and take a look at the uh, at our balance. Do, 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 do. Now we are going to have to, of course, go out and gather more money. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll say we'll do that another time. Let's see. Uh, we have 7.7 .7 Groshen left. Okay. And what's our... What is our... We are 
look at that. We're in the, I think it's called in the black. <laughs> We're in the black. We are making positive money right now. Uh, we have 7.7K Groshen. Our reputation is 100. Village income is 1,200. Capacity is not, is, okay. We have not quite reached those objectives. All right. So there's no check mark yet. But we are getting stone, grain, charcoal, and livestock. Um, we are losing money on the rat house and the traders at a rate of 140 and 185 respectively. But the tavern is making money, and the bridge road, bridge and road, woodcutters camp, and laborers camp are all losing money. Now, what we could do is, if we wanted to just complete this, uh, what, how much do we have? Uh, we have 7.7k. So what we could do is, we have a choice. We could build, yeah, we can't, we can't do the forge. We could build the bakery though, which, and that'll bring in a base of 250. And we could also build the, uh, dice games for 1000 and that'll bring in 200. Oh, what the hell? There's work to be done. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. I'll muster the labor. Come with me. I will. I know where we're going. I'm just, I'm going to beat you there, Marius. We're going to race. <laughs> I'm faster than you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on. Look at that. Much faster than you. Do, do, do. Oh, there's somebody down at the tree. You just hanging out? Hi. Are you happy here? Hey, you look sad. Oh. oh. I don't like that. All right. Hi, Marius. We're going to build here? Yes. Indeed. Yes. Can we begin? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm ready. There's too many. I'll I, just I'm... quickly check again that we have everything we need. Mm. We have everything we need. Is there? Mm. All okay. good. All we right. Can start construction. Okay. Again, we're, we're <laughs> a few days later. It's literally uh, a little... That's it. This is all we have. Maybe it's the little room. They had to, like, set up the little room. But that's like a... It's like a, it's like a casino. We have an actual casino in our... Uh, look at this. This is cool. Oh. Oh. What do you think, Mutt? You like it? Yeah, it's good. <gasps> Mutt. Who's That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? That's you are. That's my boy. Yeah. Would you like some food? Oh, Houndmaster, it's going up. Food? Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. It's dried meat, but you're going to love it. Snossages. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Got to bring our torch out. All right, so... um. Hmm. Lumiere. Let's see. You know what? Let's continue this another time. Uh, but just so that we can get a, a little bit of a... Uh, uh, let's take a look at the summary. So we are at 540 per turn now. Um, and essentially the tavern is bringing in the bulk of our money. It's uh, essentially funding the entire operation at this point. I do need to build more, and we will. But uh, for now, this is a good start. Um, yeah, a thousand groschen. That's pretty darn. I'm happy with that. Uh, it, it, we are down to 6,700 groschen, but uh, I'm sure that, well, how much was the bakery? I don't think we want to impoverish ourselves yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The bakery was... Uh, oh, it's only 4,200. All right, we'll do that, but we'll do that next time. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. What do you think, Marius? Are we doing well? He just walked right through me. I should be used to it by now. Oh, you're going to sleep out here now. He's like, yeah, you, you stink. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dylan. Bye-bye.